I'm Dan Lindstad, and I'm back again this time to talk about hard and soft business rules in a little more depth than I did uh, in another video where I talked about where do business rules get executed. Um, so from this particular perspective, hard and soft business rules, let's define hard business rules. Hard business, all right, let me back up. I take the business rules and I lump them into a big category and then I break them apart into two classes. I've got hard business rules and soft business rules. And in the soft, in the soft business rules, basically to put it quite simply, are anything that changes either the meaning of the data, the content of the data, or the grain of the data. So anything that does something to the data set, in other words, the interpretation of the data set, uh, or the values of the data set, it belongs in the soft business rules category. So from that perspective, we can easily fashion any sort of data mart downstream of the data warehouse that the business users want today. And we can do it fast and we can do it accurately and we can give them what they want without too much hassle and we don't need to change the architecture, we don't need to change the loading routines, we don't have any impact to upstream or source systems or anything like that. All of that needs to be decoupled and independent. So that soft business rules category is downstream of the data vault and going from the vault to the marts and we might land it in an area. So soft business rules, that's what soft business rules are. Hard business rules are basically upstream in the data vault. There are things like if we want to normalize a COBOL file, if we want to take a COBOL file and split it into several sections or sub-segments and then push that into the data warehouse. If we want to take an XML document and break it up into respective sections that we can deal with. If we want to take unstructured data or the results of an unstructured data system and we want to structure it, those might be hard business rules. Okay. If we want to take a, and some of the more simpler hard business rules include data type definitions. So if we want to take a date time that's coming in off a flat file and we want to look at it as a date time or put it in a relational field as a date time, that is an example of a hard business rule. Those things sit upstream. Those things can be automated. Those things are highly structured or conducive to a structured loading cycle. That's where we put the hard business rules. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, entree or foray into hard and soft business rules and uh, what some of the differences are and what we do uh, with those as we go. If you want to learn more, we've got plenty of opportunity uh, at LearnDataVault.com to learn more about hard and soft business rules and also in my coaching area uh, where I'm building classes around all of these things that you can take as a student and you get to ask me one-on-one -on -one direct questions so I can answer them for you uh, no matter what project you're on. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.